finally did it guys I finally did it I've switched over to Minecraft on PC and with that come some amazing mods let's do this <laughs> Alright guys, so the first mod we're going to check out is called Extra Rails by Shadowfax MC, and it also needs a additional download from Shadowfax MC called Shadow MC, and it just basically adds in five new rails to the game, and the one that I'm really excited about is is the uh, let's see the teleporting rail, and it allows you to teleport over distances. Um, I'm going to give you a little preview here. So let's jump in the minecart. Go down. So we can teleport over there. I'll get into it against around these uh, arrows in a minute. It goes up a block and then check this out. Right across and down. Now the only thing that kind of sucks about these teleporting rails is that they cannot go up more than one and they can't go more than three across so if you if I knocked out this rail this block and added that teleporting rail right here the minecart or if you were in the minecart would just start stacking up over there which could be used for something else if you had your in game you had like a railroad system and you wanted to stack uh, minecarts up after everyone was done with them you could have a system going where they just teleport across and start stacking in one area now the cool thing about this teleporting rail is it can actually send you 27 blocks across so if you're running low on rails and you have enough materials in order to make a couple teleporting rails it can save you a lot on materials that's in case you're doing this in survival um, and actually I mean it would be a really sweet fi feature to go ahead and put into uh, a creative mode or into uh, a server just as well um, another thing is I come over here let's go and throw a minecart down I'll show you that it can actually not just go down but over to the side where I have some of those minecarts over there so let's go ahead and do this set the minecart down go on your way check that out it's pretty sweet now another cool feature of this mod is that you actually have these directional rails here with the arrows that actually when you go and put a minecart down it'll just start sending the minecart off into that direction which saves on time because usually with the, they act just like the gold rails but the difference is with the gold rails if you go ahead and just set a minecart down it's not gonna go anywhere so I mean that's pretty nice but I was hoping that with this mod you'd be able to have these directional arrows uh, change the direction of the minecart but that is not the case so let's say uh, if I were to have this let's change this up if I wanted to uh, you know set it there and I set a minecart down oh jeez I just sent it in the wrong direction okay let's try this <clears throat> It's not going to do anything. It's actually going to send the minecart right back for some reason. So that's actually kind of that's uh that's sad that you're not able to do that. But nonetheless, it's pretty sweet that if you're just able to set a minecart down, it'll start going on its merry way. Now the other thing is they they are just like these gold rails, so they do need a redstone uh redstone torch or redstone something in order to get it to go. Now I know there are a couple more uh, mine rails, I mean minecart rails, uh, just rails <laughs> in general. Um, one of them is this locking rail. Uh, all that happens is when the minecart comes down and hits that, it's going to stop. The thing is, it'd be pretty cool, I guess, in certain situations if you have a redstone signal going to it and uh, you have like a some kind of trigger that lets us go after a while if you like storing minecarts in the area or something. That's the only real thing I could see being useful of this locking rail. Alright, so that just leaves two more rails to go ahead and go over. I'm um, not going to lie, I have no clue what this comparator rail even does. I've tried sending down a couple of different minecarts uh, with items in it. I've tried setting a uh, redstone signal up to it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I can use it for. So uh, the only other thing is the wooden rail. Alright guys, this next mod wasn't showing a lot of love, and now I kind of know why. Unfortunately, there's not a lot to it. It was called Simply Ro Simple Roads by Zettel. And there's a problem that there's only three things that actually adds to the game, which is this slab road, uh, road stairs, and roads again. Just for a regular block. 
Um, the only thing is, it <laughs> it kind of looks just like a cobblestone block, which is kind of unfortunate. I know the the author probably was meaning to have more to this mod, and hopefully it does. So, I mean, kudos to him for trying this out. But, uh, dude, definitely get some de get some more designs and get some better roads out, and maybe even try to set it up with the shovel to where the regular Minecraft you can actually hit the shovel in a certain direction and start making. Uh, different colored roads um, that would be pretty sweet so uh, maybe try and go in that direction alright guys next mod up is called convenient additions by necro which also needs another download from Az Azanor which is called bubbles now this mod is pretty cool I just played with it a little bit uh, I know that you can have some phantom platforms which is pretty sweet because from here, well, yeah, if you look up, you can see I have another one here, but you can't even tell until I can jump up here, and boom, check that out. Some new platforms up here, you jump up, you just keep stacking these if you wanted it. Now, another cool feature of this mod is called the Ender Plate, which if you go ahead and click, now check this out, watch. I'm going to start jumping, and I start jumping without any blocks. The only problem I see with this is if you turn it off, and you walk, you're going to hit the ground, so you got to be careful not to get up too high, but it is pretty sweet if you're going to try and get up to a high area, like up the mountains or something, as long as you have enough charge on it. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to another thing, which is some of the arrows. He has a couple arrows. One's called a creeper arrow. Uh, let's check it out. Blast arrow and slime arrow. Pretty much all these arrows do is make things explode. So let's go over here to some of the sheep. Shoot it. Holy crap, okay, that was pretty big. Uh, that's just from the creeper arrow. I think that's one of the be, uh, the bigger explosions. The other ones aren't as big, um, and if you go ahead and just shoot at the ground, nothing's going to happen. I want to see if I do this. Yep. <laughs> so you also have to be careful. You can't just point down and shoot. You might kill yourself. Now, guys, there's a lot more features to this mod, but the only other thing I want to kind of check out is the powder keg because of how powerful it is. There's a couple more things in there, like power player interface, seed box, uh, set provider, item transmitters, so you can actually transmit items over distances. Uh, you have in inventory proxy, side inventory proxy. I'm um, not really sure what those are. I played with them for a little bit, didn't get too much out of them. You got a hover pad, which is pretty sweet. You can add some power to it, and you can actually make yourself hover over areas. And then you have the blast pad. Uh, not quite sure what that does either, but there's a couple other things, uh, mainly for farming. You got some compost that'll make your farms grow a little better. The power keg, powder keg is one of my favorite things besides the ender plate that I saw in this mod, which all you have to do is add gunpowder to it and light it. Now, of course, this probably wouldn't be the best thing in survival, but I love it in creative because it's so easy to clear mountains and huge areas that you don't want in your way. All right, guys, I saved the best one for last, which is actually a mod that's downloaded by a lot of people, and I know it's been showcased a few times, but I want to go ahead and throw my hand in this and go over a little bit of what it's about. It's called Visecraft Airships by Visus Gaming. Now this mod, you're able to actually make a couple different air... What What are you doing? Get out of there! Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess you can stay. But anyways, um, so in this mod, you go ahead and create an airship workbench, which is where you're able to create all your airships. Uh, like I said, there's a couple different ones. And the thing is, these airships can actually hold two people or you and a mob. And actually, it can be just a pig or a sheep or whatever, or it can actually be an enemy, so you got to be careful. Which is actually what this is used for, the dismounter. It actually knocks them right out so that you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to carry them. Unless you want to carry them around, I mean, I mean that's totally up to you, but that's uh, not the case for me. So let's say you went ahead and built your airship and you're ready to jump in and get going. Well, let's jump in it. The problem is, you actually need fuel to get this thing going. So in order to open the the uh, config menu for your airship, you press R, and now you have an inventory module and your f fuel slot. We'll get into modules in a minute, 
So let's go ahead. Now we got the fuel going. That's blocks of coal, by the way. You press the space bar to go up, and it acts kind of just like a boat where you float around. Uh, it's every different airship is a, the same speed. They just look different. Now the thing that affects the speed, as far as I've seen, are the modules. Oh, wrong button. Let's go ahead and go into the modules. So if you went ahead and got a module, there's a couple different ones. One that can give you infinity fuel, so you never have to worry about fuel running out. Uh, another that's, and it would actually give you only 60% speed. There's one that gives you a huge amount of speed, but needs twice the amount of fuel. So there's a bunch of different modules that you're able to do and launch in there. There's actually another module that allows you to hold more inventory space. So this is something really cool if you're in survival mode and you want to transport a lot of stuff over to another base of yours. Just go ahead and start throwing stuff in there. Well, right now I actually do need a module to even start throwing stuff in the inventory. So I guess that's something you actually need. Uh, if you want to go and get down, don't try to hit shift to get out because you're just going to get stuck. Go ahead and press X. You'll descend and you're able to get out. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all there is to it to this mod. I mean, there's a couple more things where you can go in and paint your airships different colors. Um, if you want to see, I'm sorry, I have not gone over the other ones. Here's a smaller one. The Visigible. I'm so bad at pronouncing these. Uh, let's see. Uh, Blue Weisenberg. I don't know why they're down here. They get like blown away. I guess you got to worry about that too. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. So uh, there's four, I believe, four simple books that you can go over to figure out how to make them, what you can do with them, the different fuel you can use, how to knock them down so that you don't have to uh, worry about trying to move it around anywhere. Uh, one thing I did read in there is you cannot go into the water. If you try to go into the water, your airship's going to start smoking. And if it starts smoking, if you don't get out of it soon, or if you don't pull up, it's going to explode. And I'm pretty sure the same thing's going to happen if you were to go into lava. It's just uh, common sense. All right, guys, so that's it for this mod showcase. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to be coming out with a new one next week, and I will be continuing to do one every week after. So go ahead and look forward to that. If you would, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Peace.